Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. I have this. <laughs> I was actually gonna film a different video today, but then this came nice and early. So um, I'm gonna be filming, of course, with it today. I just wanna say thank you so, so much to Pure Cosmetics and Raw Beauty Chrissy for sending this to me. I feel very, very lucky to be able to receive PR like this. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I ordered two palettes by accident, so I'm waiting for those to come. So I'll do a giveaway, but we'll speak about that at the end of the video. So I'm gonna be using this and creating two different looks today. I'm gonna to be using the neutral side and the um, colorful side. But yes, just before we get into that today, if you don't know who I am and we haven't met already, hi. My name is Robert. I'm a professional makeup artist here on YouTube and also in real life and it is my goal here to help you become a pro yourself or just someone who's really good at makeup. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then please consider subscribing. So let's dive into this incredibly sought after palette. Oh my God, it was a crazy time trying to get it, but we got it, we got there. Hi. So we have the palette right here and then we have these two pairs of lashes right on the side. God, this camera is really washing me out today. We have Can't Be Bothered, which are these really nice wispier lashes. Um, they look quite long as well, but I feel like they're not gonna be as intense and dramatic once they're on the eye. And we also have Lovely, which are these lashes that seem to be a little bit thicker um, and have more of a lift and a curl to them. I think I might use these today. Oh, let's use both. Why not? It's Christmas. Let's take a look at the palette. I haven't even opened it yet. I haven't even looked inside it. The packaging feels very um, expensive. I love the, the kind of like matte here with a shine of all the um, illustrations on the front. <laughs> Cute little baby. Mm, that's some good smelling palette. So we have very neutral on this side. This is really, really cute for a neutral palette because it has this pinky tone and like this orangey pinky tone, which I think is a really nice touch rather than keeping it all brown and beige. <laughs> you guys know I'm using the purple, right? Like how could I review a palette without using the purple? So we have a colorful side here and that lovely intense shine in the middle. These look so, so great. I've never used Pure Cosmetics before. So this is my first time using their makeup in general. So let's see how we do it. I'm gonna do a kind of colorful one, one side, and a natural the other side. I was gonna do full um, to do a full iron and take it off, but I'm sweating sitting in this room. Okay, so let's start off with Tribute, the purple, of course. <laughs> Oh wow, that is pigmented, <laughs> like that's very vibrant. I'm gonna take it up a little bit higher because I'm gonna cut crease it. Oh my God, okay. The pigment kind of sticks, it doesn't fade out. I always find with some colors, especially bright, it's like bright purple, bright pink, that you can lay down the color and when you blend, it fades away. But this is staying incredibly well, blending beautifully. And I feel like it's the color that I chose from a palette, if that makes sense. Sometimes it just looks like a washed out version. So let's go with a shade Hurtful next, which is this incredible, like, it's not like peacock blue. I guess it is like a royal peacocky blue. Oh, they sit so well together. That looks incredible. Let's pack that color onto the outer corner of the lid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I really want to use that pink somehow. Okay, let's cut the crease, crease. I think when looking at a palette like this as well, it can kind of be a little bit intimidating, but literally look at the palette and see where they're blocked. I'm choosing um, a pattern that goes like this. You know, you can choose all three that go across. They're always kind of grouped together. I feel like when people are making palettes, they're always going to group them together in the palette that looks really complimentary. So use the way they've laid them out. Use free across, free down, free diagonal, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna take the pink. Ooh, I'm scared, I'm too scared. So the pink is called Side Effect and it looks incredibly strong. So let's do it about here. Okay, then I, I think I wanna make that like white a bit really strong. My fiance's just left and um, my little dog, she can't take it when he leaves. So let's dip into a shade of Cafe Disco. Very nice, 
So let's blend that pink in again. Okay, baby. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, I want to get a bit of purple on that inside corner. Actually, you're gonna scrap that idea and just do a normal cut crease. <laughs> Let's take a shade Lumos and just. Oh my god! Is it? Oops! It smells really good. <laughs> okay, now we're doing something. Let's go back in with Cafe Disco and I'm just gonna tap that right in there. I'm just back in with a brush that I use that Lumos shade on. So let's take side effect again, the really um, bright pink. And let's do the pink into the purple into the blue. I think that'd be cute. Really random thought. Do you guys remember Light Bright? Do they still make those? The little, you had like a little light board with peg holes and you put the pegs in and it came with like a black sheet of paper and told you what pegs to put in where. Do you ever wish that you just kept all the toys from when you were younger just for nostalgia reasons? I don't know why I'm talking about this. So what we'll do is I'll start doing the natural side and then we'll finish up this side with lashes and liner. Ooh, I'm really happy with the, the way the colours blend, the pigmentation, and um, they all blending nicely into each other. I thought I would be like challenging by trying to blend that pink into that um, like greeny blue, but it blends really, really nicely. Let's do natural. Okay, let's do like a halo eye this side. So let's start with the shade Moo Point. Get rid of that sweat. Oh, my brushes are wet. Guys, I'm so sweaty. I'm so gross. Okay. <laughs> this is a beautiful shade. This is so nice. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's like a... Oh, that might be my, my new shade. Yeah, that is really nice. That's such a cool colour. That's like a... It's like if purple was a grey beige, <laughs> but also pink. Yeah, I love that colour. What a beautiful colour. Let's take the shade Whole Heart. I just want to see what that's like. And kind of fade out this Moo Point shade. Yeah. Yeah. I want to take the shade It Just Does, which kind of looks like this salmony, like if salmon was neutral. Let's build it up just here. I'm so imp I'm so so impressed by by these eyeshadows. The way they blend is absolutely stunning. The way they work with each other is beautiful as well. And just to have all this choice of color, it makes you feel like you have loads of palettes in one, which I really like about palettes. I like to think of eyeshadow palettes like if I was to only ever buy one eyeshadow palette and this was a palette, would I be happy? And I think you could be very, very happy <laughs> if you were just to buy this one. Got that eye twitch. You see? I'm just tired. I'm just tired and I won't say stressed because I don't really do anything to be stressed. So let's go in with the shade You're Not My Real Dad because how could you review this palette and not use that shade? Let's take that right into the corners here. I'll just carve out the socket slightly. Let's keep it nice and deep on the outside corner. Yes. Let's go back into the shade It Just Does and just lay that on the edges of that brown and just gently buff that in just by tapping a little bit. Okay, let's take Golden Ticket, which is gold, obviously. I'm gonna use my finger and I'm just gonna tap that right into the middle. I'm going to take it a little bit higher, like onto the um, brow bone. Oh, I've got a really dirty nail. Ooh, sorry. I want to take that You're Not My Real Dad shade out a little bit more, make it a little bit more dramatic. <laughs> we'll take, again, You're Not My Real Dad and tap that right under the eyes here. Follow that up with It Just Does and blend over that. 
We'll take golden ticket and just tap that right in here. You know what? I'm actually going to flip the palette back over. Go back into Cafe Disco and just tap that just in the middle so I can just get a tiny bit more of that shine. Yeah. Okay, let's get some lashes and liner on and then we will summarize. All right, everyone. So this is the finished look. Luxuses. So I have on the colorful side, I have the lovely lashes. These have this really nice lift here, which are really, really nice. I actually really like the sudden lift. I think you find with most lashes, they go down and then lift, whereas this is more of like a pushed up permed look almost. God, I really spat, sorry. And then I have Can't Be Bothered this side, which is actually quite a nice, um, I want to say natural, but natural is the wrong word. It's it's definitely there, but it just has a slight kick to it. Like, <laughs> like it's a spice, you know? All right, so here I am with my two faces. I'm not too fake. I didn't mean it like that, you know? <laughs> two different eyes. We have this natural kind of deep halo eye, natural. You know what I mean? And then we have this bright pink with the purple and the bluey green tones. What an absolute incredible palette. To have this option and to be able to create two completely different eye looks is so nice with that same texture. Yeah, the texture's beautiful. These lashes are really, I was kind of a little bit, when I was looking at the lovely lash, I was like, it has a really strange rib. And it just, I thought it wasn't going to go on so great, but it looks really good. It looks like I've had a good pair of lash extensions. I'm so, so impressed. And I'm actually really intrigued by the brand now. I would actually love to get a few more things from them now. I, I really, I'm really, really impressed with the eyeshadows. I had a really nice time using it. I had fun using it. I had fun creating something with it as well. Christy and Pure should be so, so proud of themselves. So happy with the product they had developed, the lashes they had developed. Um how popular it was as well. Honestly, I couldn't think of anyone more deserving than Christy to have a collection just completely, you know, blow up. So I'm so happy I got to be able to try it. I'm so thankful that I received it in PR. Like I'm honored <laughs> because it was so, so popular. So like I said, I did actually order um, two palettes by accident. They should be here tomorrow. Um, I panicked at checkout and I think I pressed two twice and then I didn't want to delete it in case it ruined the checkout basket, if that makes sense. So I have two to give away. This is gonna be open worldwide to everyone. All you need to do is subscribe, like this video, comment down below your Instagram username, go over to Instagram, find this picture here, like the picture, and then below, all I want you to do is comment which side you prefer, whether you like the more colorful side, or whether you like the more neutral side. Just let me know, it'll be interesting. I'm not gonna judge who wins based on that. I'll pick a random winner, um, but it'll just be interesting to see your thoughts. I will leave this open for a week, so you guys can get some time to enter. Um, and then I'll choose two winners randomly and I will notify you on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining me again. This was such a nice video to film, such a pleasure to play with that palette. Don't forget to like this video. Consider subscribing if you um, if you want to. Thank you so much again for joining me and I will see you on Friday. All right, guys, thank you. Bye.